Okay, here by popular demand is my uh, odd shape uh, pulse motor turned into an electrostatic motor. And uh, I'm running it on a uh, 4kV negative ion generator and I've got it plugged into uh, my computer power supply which is overdriving that is supposed to be 12 volts but I'm zapping it with a whole bunch more. But uh, there it is running, and it wasn't that easy to get this to work, but I did get it to work. And it's made out of one of these um, antacid bottles. And uh, like I say, it's an odd shape, and I just wanted to see if I could get an odd shape to make a motor. And uh, like I say, it wasn't all that easy, but I did get it to work. Um, it's got four plates on it and then these little brushes tap the plates and it runs off the coulomb effect where the uh, light charges repel and the opposite charges attract and this shows the uh, the charge on it here and I can get that off the rotor too stop and I'll show you what it looks like here it's um, aluminum tape you can get the aluminum tape it's like duct tape type stuff only it's aluminum and they're just pieces of tape on that bottle and uh, like I say it's an odd shape and these little uh, brushes tap the plates as it goes by and uh, discharge and charge the plates and then the positive charges are the like charges repel and the opposite charges attract and uh, it sets up a, a rotational motion if you get everything just right and like I say it wasn't all that easy to do and I had to zap it with uh, quite a bit of juice to make it go but there it is and uh, it just uh, is a kind of a strange little Strange little motor, but it uh, does work. The key to it is you have to really isolate the, uh, the charges. If there's any pathway at all for the charges to bleed off because it's high voltage, you can't get the charge separation and uh, that's one of the keys to this is uh, these can't be wood these have to be plastic otherwise the high voltage just travels through the wood but uh, I just got a big kick out of taking something like an antacid bottle and uh, turning it into a, uh, a motor that's fun And that's the odd-shaped electrostatic motor. Thanks for watching.